Stan Gibalisco here. I'm going to show you um, how a sine wave arises uh, in nature and why, and give you at least some intuitive idea as to why a sine wave is the most efficient possible way to concentrate a signal. It concentrates it entirely at one frequency and all of the energy is at that frequency. This uh, is adapted from my book Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, sixth edition, published in June of 2016 by McGraw-Hill and authored by yours truly and Simon Monk, who has provided new chapters for this edition on microcontrollers and the Arduino device. What I'm going to show you now is figure 12-3 slightly rearranged from chapter 12 in the paper version of the book you'll find it on page 202 at A imagine that you rotate a ball or you revolve a ball around your head at the end of a string of finite length imagine that you revolve it in a horizontal plane you must have done that as a kid in circular motion at a constant speed here is your head and you watch the thing go round and round at a constant speed at a constant distance from your head now a friend at B stands off to the side so that he's his eyes are, or her eyes are perfectly in the plane of this revolving a ball, a horizontal plane. What that person will see is just a ball moving back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. It moves fastest near the center and then it comes to rest and for an instantaneous period of time that means infinitely short period of time it stops and then reverses direction back and forth back and forth. That's easy enough to imagine, right? Now this is a very efficient way to revolve a ball around your head. Uh, it, it, it's a perfect rendition of motion. There is no greater perfection in geometry than a circle. Nothing better than constant radius and constant rate of rotation. And that's exactly what you're getting here. Now let's suppose that we plot this position as your friend sees as a function of time. That will be done on page 203 in the paperback version of the book in figure 12-4. The position of the ball here, it starts right here and goes up like that and then it continues on like this comes to a momentary stop and by momentary I mean for an infinitely short period of time at the extreme end of each uh, of each uh, at the extreme ends of its motion as shown in figure 12-3 these ends you just move this up with time and you plot it like that I'm not sure I why I started the ball up here and then I'm asking you to imagine continuing down here but here's where it came from I guess as it's moving and it will just keep going over and over and over like that if you assume that time moves at a constant speed uh, and at least in non-relativistic uh, scenarios it does then you will get a sine wave for this graph. It has an exact sine wave shape. And that is how we intuitively derive a sine wave, which is the most efficient possible way to concentrate a signal at a single frequency from circular motion, which is the most perfect possible way that an object can move at a constant speed in a circle 
around a central point and at a constant distance from that point. That distance being that distance right there or this distance right here. So I hope that that gives you some intuitive concept. Figures 12-3 right here slightly rearranged to fit better on the screen than it does in the book but the very same figure found on page 202 and figure 12-4 found on page 203 in my book teach yourself electricity and electronics sixth edition i always recommend that you get the paperback version not electronic versions uh, because uh, there are always errors introduced in electronic copies of books for various reasons more reasons than I care to elaborate here and probably more than I can even imagine but it happens and people complain about it they've complained about it in reviews but if you get the paperback version of the book you'll be spared all of that grief and also be given a good solid brick with which you can whoop somebody over the head to wake them up after they've listened to this lecture by Stan Jabalisco concerning the book co-authored with Simon Monk. Published again in June of 2016 by McGraw-Hill, available from Amazon.com, new or used, Google, uh, BarnesandNoble.com, any of those, but again, order the paperback version, not the electronic version. That is my recommendation. Stan Jabalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.